Good morning, children. I, Mrs. Sathya Ganguly, will be taking your chemistry classes during this lockdown period. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy at your home. In standard five, we all have learned a general science. That is, science is in general. But from standard six, science has been divided into three parts. That is, physics, chemistry, and biology. And I'll be taking your chemistry portion. Before I start with any topic of chemistry, children, first you understand what this subject will deal with. Basically, this subject deals with chemical properties, chemical reaction of any substances, and also in uh, the introduction of chemistry will start you with fibers. That is different type of fibers. That is natural fibers, synthetic fibers, and Again, the properties of fibers. This is the general topic of chemistry, which in standard six you will deal with. Let's start with our topic, with our chapter. That is chapter number three, fibers to fabric. If you have any doubt, children, regarding the topic which I'll be teaching you today, you are free to ask me any question through Campus Care Care app. Let's start fibers to fabric. So here comes chapter number three, fiber to fabric. In this chapter, we will learn the processes or the process of making fabric from fiber. Before I start with any process, let's understand what are fibers and how many types of fibers are there. Fiber, a fiber is a thin strand of thread used to make fabric. Different type of fabrics, that is cotton fabric, rayon fabric, nylon fabric. So whatever fabrics, that is in general term, the fabrics are known as clothes. So whatever clothes you wear, the thread which is used to make that clothes, those are known as fiber. Let's see the type of fibers. The type of fiber is natural fiber and synthetic fiber. The fiber which is obtained from plants and animals, they are known as natural fiber. And the fiber which do not obtain from plants and animals, they are known as synthetic fibers. Examples of plants and animal fiber are silk and wool. And example of synthetic fiber is rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic. This portion children, synthetic fiber, it's just a definition which you have to go through and the elaborate portion or the uh, explanation of synthetic fiber in, uh, in an elaborate manner, uh, you will be learning in higher classes. That is generally in standard 8 and standard 7. In this chapter, for your standard, you will only learn about natural fiber and the processes of making fabric from natural fiber. Let's check it down, children. The first word that is yarn, that is thread. Basically, when I say thread, usually threads are made from wool or cotton because I told you, you will deal with, uh, in this chapter, you will be dealing with natural fiber. So I took the thread as wool thread and cotton thread. That has been prepared thread that has been prepared and used for knitting are known as yarn. Now, when I say yarn, this yarns when joined together, when you join the yarns, for example, cotton yarns, one yarn, two yarn, three yarn, threads, lots of threads, when you join together, they start making fabric by knitting, by stitching and different processes. So they are known as fabric. So if I ask you what is fabric? Fabric is made up of yarns arranged together. Now the question arises, generally children ask, or generally the question arises over here, what are these yarns made up of? Which I already told you. Thread is generally made up of wool or cotton. So yarns are made up of fibers. These are only the fibers. Cotton fiber, wool fiber, nylon fiber, rayon fiber, because in this chapter, we'll be not learning synthetic fiber. So I took only natural fiber. So if I ask you, what is the definition of fiber, which is in a general topic, I already explained you. The thin strands of thread 
are known as fibers. Now I, I have to link all these three. So what can I do if I have to link these three? I will say fabrics are made up of yarns and yarns are made up of fibers. So the connection for these three are fabrics are made up of yarn and yarns are made up of fibers. I hope children now it is clear to you yarn, fabric and fibers. Let's now see the different types of fibers but before that again a question arises where do these fibers come from? Fibers can be obtained from two sources. They are plants and animals which I already showed you in the flowchart. So when they are obtained from plants and animals, what is the name we gave to them? They are natural fibers. Take two example, cotton, jute, flax is also there and there are so many. And then again I told you, only you have to go through with the synthetic fiber definition. Elaboration part you will study in your higher classes. Some fibers which do not obtain from plants and animals, they are known as synthetic fiber, artificial fiber or man-made fiber. Why they are known uh, synthetic fibers? Because these fibers are made from chemical substances. What are the example? Nylon and rayon. There are so many which I already gave in the flowchart in the introduction part. Children, today I stop with this topics only up to synthetic fiber. If you have any doubt, you can refer to page number 18 and 19 in your NCRT book, science book. And regarding the topic which I taught you, if you want to ask me any question, you can put your question in the Campus Care app. Thank you children.